Hi, my name is Callie Chappelle and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk to you about how to put together a poster or a panel of figures in Adobe Illustrator. So in this video, I'm going to show you some key details about how I made this poster here in Adobe Illustrator. Specifically in this video, I'm going to tell you about how to make a new document as well as how to use layers and guidelines in order to map out your final product. So the first thing I'm going to do is if I'm in Adobe Illustrator, I'm going to try to make a new document. So if you open Illustrator, you're going to see something like this. And again, this is Illustrator Creative Cloud. Um, and I'm going to choose print because ultimately we'd like to print our poster. Now, if instead of making a poster, you wanted to make, for example, a PowerPoint slide or a figure that wouldn't be printed, you could choose web instead and there's a couple of key options here but I'm going to choose print and none of these are for posters so I'm going to create my new poster now most posters I think are 48 by 36 however um, at my institution our printing service our main printing service on campus is the Lathrop Learning Hub um, I'm at Stanford University and the maximum width for Lathrop posters is 44 inches so I'm going to choose that as well except for instead of points I want this to be inches I'm going to choose, I'm going to type in 44 inches wide and I'm going to choose 32 inches, uh, 42 inches tall and I'm not going to choose bleed. That's essentially any space that you want to leave for the printer um, just because the ink might bleed a little bit and sometimes the printer likes to leave a little bit of white space between with where they're printing and the edge of the page. We don't need to worry about that because we'll eventually save this as um, a, I will save this as a PDF and when we print the PDF usually they'll just choose um, uh, like fill to size so it's not a big deal but that's just something to know if you're working with a printer for example making posters I've had to design posters that weren't eight and a half by eleven but slightly smaller to accommodate bleed anyway that's what this is so I'm gonna choose RGB color and then I'm just going to hit create so you can see that now it's created a poster that's um, about the same size as the poster that we're using as our model so the first thing I want to introduce you to is layers. Now I'm going to note here that I am not going to talk you through all of the features that Adobe Illustrator has. I already have a video where I go through the main functions, so you can check that out. I believe it's Adobe Illustrator for Scientists Part 2. Here I'm just going to assume that you know a lot of this stuff. First, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about layers. So I talk about layers in this video, but just as a quick reminder, you can think of layers as kind of individual pieces of saran wrap that are laying on top of one another. So imagine that you have, you color on the top piece of saran wrap, it's going to obscure things that are on the bottom pieces. However, if you, for example, drew on the second piece of saran wrap from the bottom, you would be able to see anything that was on top of it, but not anything below it. And layers kind of work the same way. So here we've got a layer. I'm going to make a new layer. So I'm just going to call this top layer for right now. Top, top layer. I just need to be in caps because I'm not yelling here. <laughs> I'm going to hit OK. And then also I'm going to call this one bottom layer. I'm very creative, clearly. All right, so what happens when I put something on this bottom layer? So I'm just going to put a rectangle here. I'm going to fill it with this green or whatever. Okay, top layer. On the top layer, now we're in the top layer, I'm gonna make another rectangle and I'm gonna color it blue. So you can see that it's on the top layer, it's on top of the green thing. Okay, um, all right, I'm just going to X out of this. Oops, I didn't want to draw that one. Okay, so let's say that I moved this rectangle, I want to move it to the bottom layer, so I drag it to the bottom layer, and I'm just going to expand the bottom layer. You can see the blue is still on top of the green, but if I move it below the green, you can see now the green's on top. So we kind of have this little bit of intuition about how the top layer and the bottom layer works. But I'm actually, I don't want top and bottom layer, I want to give them distinctive names, and I'm going to call this one grid line, uh, um, layout, layout lines. So one thing that I really like to do when I'm making a scientific poster and also when I'm making figures is create some layout lines that'll kind of be the general flow of the figure. So for example, with this poster, um, what I did first was I actually sketched out where I kind of wanted all the pieces of the poster to be. So I knew kind of generally where my layout lines were going to go. So oops, this is some other stuff I'm going to talk to you guys about later some of these other figures um, but when you're thinking about a poster you want definitely going to want to have a space for a title and so I'm going to draw a line here pro tip if you hold on the shift key it draws an exactly straight line except for that didn't for some reason sorry 
I'm holding down the shift key. There we go. Makes a straight line. I'm just going to increase the stroke here so we can see it. So I'm going to say everything above this line is going to be my title. And then I'm also going to put another line that's straight down the middle. That's going to be my middle line. And then I'm going to divide this poster into, I'm going to do this one in quarters. So I want to know halfway here. So usually it tells me it'll give me an intersection here somewhere in the middle. I don't know. We can put it in quarters. I'm not actually that anal. So I want it to be around thirds then maybe. So okay, that looks pretty good. And then I want to have another line that's exactly that width from the other side. So I'm just going to make a little box there as a little reminder. And then I'm going to copy and paste another here. Actually, it might tell me when I'm exactly no. Well, I'm just going to move this box over here. This is like a totally a pro tip. There's probably a way in Illustrator to like actually give you the exact values, but this is good enough for me. So there you go. So now I've got it in more or less thirds, but I know these were too equidistant. These two are equidistant apart. All right, so now I've got my grid lines and I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna make sure that I get this all the way lined up at the bottom. I'm gonna zoom in here and make sure it gets all the way lined up at the bottom. And that looks pretty good. All right, so the last thing that I want is I wanna make sure that everything is kind of equidistant from the edges here. So I'm also going to make another box here that just reminds me, okay, don't get too close to the edge. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to highlight everything. So I just did Command A and I don't want the skies to be black. I want them to be really easy to see. So I'm going to make them red and we've got our layout lines. So these guys are always going to be on the very top of the image. So I'm just going to hit the lock key to make sure that they're no longer clickable. And I'm going to make a bunch of other layers and I'm going to call them things that I'll eventually put on this poster. So things like titles and text and, oops, and figures and let's see here, graphics and photos. Okay, instead of figures, I'm actually going to call them graphs. All right. So now we've got all these things and now we can rearrange them to be in the order that we want. So I want titles on top, then probably graphics, photos, graphics, graphs, and then text. That looks pretty good. And then of course on the very bottom, I want my background. Okay. So and layout lines is going to go on top of all of these things. So I want to put my background on first so I can build on it and have it all the right colors. So I can, as you can see, I've got my background here. And now I want to make a square on the background layer. So I'm going to make a square that is the size of my poster and I'm going to fill it as you can, as you remember in black. All right, there we go. So now I've got my nice layout lines they are not clickable and I've got my background and I'm going to lock that too. So now I've got lots of fun space to play with to make my poster. All right. So hopefully in this video, you understand how to make a new document. You understand the difference and how to uh, make a, a unusually sized document, for example, to make a poster, as well as how to use layers and how to um, make guidelines within those layers in order to guide the rest of the design of your poster. Hopefully this video is helpful and next I'm going to talk about how to import vectors and images, for example, using R or images that you might have taken on your phone and how to incorporate that into the poster. Hope to see you then. Bye!